Welcome to biologyexamsforyou.com. In this presentation, we are going to discuss about the difference between gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria. First of all, starting with why this name. The technique was developed by Christian Kram, a Danish bacteriologist, and he used two stain, crystal violet and gentian violet, and these stains are called as gram stain, and the procedure is called as gram staining. And the gram-positive bacteria is a bacteria that retains the color of crystal violet even after alcohol treatment. Alcohol treatment is a critical step in gram staining. Whereas gram-negative bacteria is a bacteria that loses the color of crystal violet on alcohol treatment. And this difference is due to the difference in cell wall composition of gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria. Now difference number two regarding the cell wall layers. In the case of gram-positive bacteria, on the outside of plasma membrane, there is a thick peptoglycan wall. Whereas in the case of gram-negative bacteria, on the outside of the plasma membrane, there is a thin peptoglycan wall that is followed by an outer membrane which is made up of lipopolysaccharides and proteins. Regarding the cell wall composition, in the case of gram-positive bacteria, peptoglycan wall is very thick and ticoic acid is present. Whereas in the case of gram-negative bacteria, peptoglycan wall is very thin. There is an outer membrane which is made up of lipopolysaccharides and proteins. So lipid content is high in gram-negative bacteria and ticoic acid is absent. Difference number three, how gram stain works. In gram staining procedure, the first step is addition of crystal violet. That will make both bacteria violet in color. The membranes of the bacteria will take up the stain and both turns violet. Second step is the addition of iodine solution. Iodine is a mordant that will help effective staining. So it becomes more stained on addition of iodine. And this is followed by the most critical step that is the alcohol treatment. Upon alcohol treatment, in the case of gram-positive bacteria, it remains violet as the stain is tightly bound to the peptoglycan wall and alcohol cannot dissolve peptoglycan wall. Whereas in the case of gram-negative bacteria, on addition of alcohol, much of the stain is bound to the lipopolysaccharide layer. On addition of alcohol, this layer dissolves. Therefore, gram-negative bacteria loses the color of crystal violet or it becomes colorless. So, in order to visualize the gram-negative bacteria, a counter stain is needed. The next step is the addition of safranin. On addition of safranin, gram-positive bacteria has no effect as crystal violet has already bound to the peptoglycan wall. Whereas in the case of gram-negative bacteria, Gram-negative bacteria lose the color of crystal violet on alcohol treatment. Therefore, addition of safranin will make the bacteria pink or purple as the bacteria take up the stain. Difference in staining of gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria is due to the difference in cell wall composition, especially the amount of lipid in the cell wall. In the case of gram-positive bacteria, the lipid content is very low. Therefore, Alcohol cannot dissolve the lipid, therefore gram-positive bacteria can retain the stain even after alcohol treatment, whereas in the case of gram-negative bacteria, lipid content is very high on the outer membrane, therefore alcohol will remove the crystal violet bound outer membrane. Further stain like saffron is needed to visualize gram-negative bacteria after alcohol treatment. This is how the bacterium appears under microscope. And this is a gram-positive bacteria that remains violet in color, whereas this is a gram-negative bacteria. This is the color of counter-stain safranin, and it appears pink or red. Next is regarding the flagella. In the case of gram-positive bacteria, the basal body has two rings. It's a region from where the flagella arises in bacterium, and it has two rings. Whereas in gram-negative bacteria, the basal body consists of four rings. Difference number five, that is regarding the pathogenicity. Very few bacteria are pathogenic in the case of gram-positive. Examples include Acnomyces, Centrococcus, etc. Whereas gram-negative bacteria, majority are pathogenic as there is an outer wall which is highly protective and gram-negative bacteria are often highly infectious, Salmonella, Neisseria, E. coli, etc. Thank you so much for your support and you are with biologyexamsforyou.com.